<clears throat> okay, let's try problem 13.3.11T. I think this is one with the Coca-Cola. Well, a cola, soda. Okay, it's generic soda. So the cans are labeled to, to have 12 ounces uh, at the 1% significant level test that claims that the cans are filled so that the median amount is 12 ounces. Okay. So the median amount of soda is equal to 12 ounces. That means the alternative is a two-tailed not equal. Calculate the Wills Coxon test statistic. Okay, so we're going to plunge through this. There's the data. We open it in StatCrunch. So this is a single column. It's not a. It's not paired. So when we do the the test for the Wilcoxon, we use one variable. What we do is we change the the median to equal 12 instead of zero because paired you would set take the differences now we're just comparing each one to 12 and let's see what happens i think that's all we need yeah compute why won't it compute Oh, I have to take, I forgot to put variable one. <laughs> it doesn't realize it. There's only one column. Okay. So all 36 are use, used in the, uh, now this gives us a Wilcox stat. Now, I don't know if that's the correct one. So, let me open the calculator. The rankings go from 1 to 36 because there's no zeros. Now, that means we sum the numbers 1 through 36. Once again, that's 36 times 37 divided by 2. That's the way you sum consecutive numbers from 1 through n. So it's 666. So if I subtract 511, see, this is the, the higher end. The, co the complement. So the T is 154.5. It's always the lower one. And I don't know why StatCrunch does this, but they do. Okay. Convert this to a Z. Okay. So to convert it to a Z, the formula is on page 613. It's this formula right here. So we have the T we just, and we have N. That's all we really need. So in the calculator, the numerator is T, which is uh, 154.5 minus. It's one-fourth of that product. Oop, 154.5 minus. So it's. 0.25 times n times n plus 1, 37. Okay, that's the numerator divided by the denominators of the entire square root. So square root, n is 36, n plus 1 is 37, 2n is 72, plus 1 is 73, divided by 24. So order of operations won't be violated. And so the test statistic or the Z, uh, yeah, test statistic is minus 2.80. Negative 2.80. I could shut this. Uh, we don't need that. So now the critical values. The critical values are dependent upon the Z the Z alpha over two for the significance level. So you can either look that up in a table or you can use uh, the calculator. It's, it's a half a percent. So if, 
we'll get the negative one if we do the oop, the inverse norm number three for point zero two zero zero five excuse me half a percent coming from the left it'll be the negative so it's negative see two decimal places so it's plus or minus two point five eight so plus or minus two point five eight now since we are to the left in the left tail we're to the left of minus 2.58 we're in the critical zone that means we're going to reject we reject h naught there is sufficient evidence to warrant rejection of the claim that the median is 12 ounces now just to make sure we have the right numbers we can go back oop wrong one we don't need this one We can go back here and do a stat summary stat column variable one and find what the median is. The median is 12.1. So since it's higher than 12, the people aren't getting cheated. There's no reason to suspect they're getting cheated because they're overfilling by a tenth of an ounce on on uh, on average. Okay, so that is problem 13.3.11t. Oh, I lost all the data. Or did I? I can go back here and get it. Here it is. Now, what I want to do is show you an alternative to this. I'm going to highlight all the data, all 36, control C, and then I'm going to go out to stat disk. If I can find it. Yeah. Okay, I gotta open it up. So stat disk, stat disk 13. I've already uh, become a member of this, but you go to stat disk 13 and you can sign in. Uh, Where's the login? Uh, here we go. So I'm already logged in. I logged in earlier, it kept me online. So I go to column one and I just control V. There's all my 36. You can see there's 36. <coughs> I go to analysis, and there's my Wilcoxon. It's uh, oh, I forgot. Okay, this one I got to put in. So I'm gonna copy. I'm gonna post six of them okay so being reluctant here I'll put in nine of them and then I'll highlight them I hope yeah Control C and then I can just copy it. All right, so what I've done is I've created a second column of all 12s because that's what I want to compare it to. So now when I go back to analysis, Wilcoxon matched pairs, I tell it use columns one and two evaluate now I, I get directly all the things I need look all the answers down at the bottom here you can see that the test statistic was 154.5 the standard we don't need that the test statistic minus 2.80 and the critical Z so all the things we needed were calculated for us although you can get it both ways 
So that's an alternative. Okie dokie, Dr. K over and out.